That's a great question. And I don't think there's any one easy answer to that one because every single relationship is different. And you hear these stories on social media about people being broken up through over the phone, um, through Twitter, through a tweet. You hear about celebrities consciously uncoupling. Uh, you hear about, uh, um, even in the adult world, collaborative divorces versus acrimonious divorces. There is no easy way to do this, but the one scenario that I think is really important to focus on would be situations where it's either an abusive or an aggressive relationship, or there's the potential that this breakup can cause a significant amount of emotional damage to one person. And in those situations, I would say be very, very careful. Um, make sure that you are, if you're worried about your own safety, make sure that there's other people that know where you are or you're in a public place or your parents or other people that know you are, and can be helped for you are, are around. Um, so I think that's kind of the area that I worry about the most. On the other hand, if the person sort of threatens they're going to kill themselves if you break up with them, I think that's a time when you have to contact their parents, probably even possibly contact something like their doctor to make sure that there's some help that they're given because nobody can be held emotionally hostage in those kind of terms. So um, there's no easy answer. Um, doing it face to face or on the phone is probably the best because not only are the words important, but so are the tones and the feelings. And lastly, I think it's also important to say relationships never truly end. Um, I've had people in my life that have died, but I still have a relationship in my mind and my heart with them. The same way I've had people that I've been in relationships with, we've broken up, but we still know each other better than almost anyone else on the planet. So it's really important, I think, also to sort of say, hey, well, even though we're not romantically partners anymore, there's still a relationship that it might feel awkward or difficult at first but I hope we can reach a point of similar trust, whether it's romantic trust or not romantic trust, I still think there's, there's gonna be some part of us that's still gonna be left and how we choose to, to use that is gonna be up to us.